little rosebuds and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a clothing haul. If you guys are new to my channel, the way I like to do clothing hauls are first impression hauls. I try on the clothes on camera, hence my little backdrop, and I say whatever comes to mind. First impressions, like how I feel about it, do I like it, do I not like it, is it cute, is it not cute? Also, they're still in their packaging from shipping, so I have no idea what they look like. So this video is going to be a little different too because I really want to put my focus on clothes that are ideal for non-curvy girls girls like myself. I don't have boobs and I don't have a butt. So I know how it is when we go shopping. It's a little hard because the tops never fit. The hip part is too big. The waist part is too big, but then other parts fit and it's like, what's going on but in today's video I want to talk about what goes on through my head when I'm shopping certain clothes that I like to buy specifically for my body type for today's haul I'm gonna be trying on clothes from Princess Polly and yes style I do have codes for you guys I'll put them down in the description the Princess Polly promo code is numbers 20 and all the clothes in this video I will be linking them down below in the description box so you can check that out I'll put all the information you know in the description box if you're ever like trying to find something just look in the description box it's always there you know all right I think that's it so we are gonna go try on some clothes now. These ties are very dangerous. Like, I can't wait to get out of this. My hair is a mess today um, because the last first impressions haul, I had braids in and I wore like 20 different outfits and my hair got messed up. So we're starting off with already messed up hair. I learned my lesson the first time. Okay. So I'm gonna try on Princess Polly stuff first. I've gotten things from Princess Polly before, but it never came in this cute little box. Oh, I'm in love. Okay. Ah, I didn't even start yet. I'm messing everything up. So we're gonna start off with this lime green cheetah print dress. I got this in the size two, and this is $43.04. Woo! Ooh, cute. Do they got ruching? Ooh. They also have ruching on the side, so it makes your hips look bigger. See, perfect for non-curvy girls because it makes you look like you got curves. Bam. Boom. This dress might not be for everyone. I mean, it's a lime green cheetah dress. Not everyone's gonna be wearing a lime green cheetah dress. What's a cheetah dress? Cheetah dress. Oh, this dress is cute though. I wish the straps were adjustable though, only because I think I have a small torso, so the straps are a little long, but it fits my waist perfectly. I would buy this dress in multiple colors. So the next top that we're trying on is the snakeskin top. These are like my absolute favorite tops. I feel like they fit so well. They're basically just a piece of fabric. They're perfect for people that don't really have no boobs. So wait, huh? Oh my, my hair is stuck. I feel like that happens to me in all my hauls. Ooh, see how perfect it is for girls that don't really have boobs? I think if I had big boobs, I think it would just be a little too sexy because it is already backless. And then it does show your chest a little bit more and a lot of the side boobs. I just like snake skin so much. So the next one we're gonna try is this pink top. This one I actually got in a size four and I'm usually a size two in Princess Polly stuff, but I love this top so much. So I was like, let me just give it a shot. Maybe it will still fit me. So we are going to try that right now. Look how adorable it is. Fit me, fit me, fit me. It fits. I would prefer it to be like super tight, but it fits. Oh, I just unhooked it. <laughs> they kind of feel like bralettes, but when you don't have a big chest or anything, you can just wear them as tops. I actually have another neon top top in here as well that I'm gonna try on for you guys. I might as well try it on now. So this top is $35 and this one is in a size two. I don't even need to go behind my curtain. It's just the top. I love the little lettuce hem. Ooh, this is fun. I like crop tops because I don't have curves. So I like to put some focus right here accentuate right here next we're gonna try on this black top everything i got pretty much is a size two this top is 25 dollars and this one is in a size two i tried to throw that over it didn't make it okay oh this one fits perfectly wow 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 <laughs> for some weird reason a lot of american stores they're extra small don't fit me and i do 99 percent of the time always have to alter it i like the fact that when i order a two on princess polly it'll fit me i know it'll fit me we love tops that we don't have to alter Okay. I also picked up some Bermuda cycling shorts. These cycling shorts are $32 and I got these in a size 2. These feel amazing. Sorry, I just need to stretch it out. Do they make me look like I got curves? 
<laughs> you guys want to know a trick of how I fake curves or big hips on Instagram? You just push your hips back like this, spread your legs out a little bit so then it goes or you just like do a little this, turn your middle this way and then turn your chest this way to do one of these. I don't know if I'm doing it right on camera right now but I can't really see but yeah. Love these cycling shorts though. They just kind of like bring everything together and I feel like I could wear this as an outfit. Just throw a denim jacket over it and I am good to Go. One of my favorite perks of not having a lot of curves is that I could wear a ton, a ton, a ton of oversized things. If you guys follow me on Instagram or if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you guys know I literally just wear drowning clothes all the time. So I wear oversized shirts, oversized sweaters, oversized everything. So yeah, I love oversized shirts and cycling shorts. It's an outfit. It's a look. It kind of looks like my logo, but instead of a rose, it's a snake. So this shirt is $43 and actually got this one in a size 4. Since we are here trying on oversized things, I figured I would try on the other oversized shirt that I picked up. The olive shirt and it has old English font and says angel. Me. A. F. This one is $35 and I got this one in a size 4 as well. Also Princess Polly offers free express shipping which is 2 to 3 days and that's for orders over $70. You buy just like a few items, you'll already be over $70 so you'll already have free express shipping. The other one you probably would not be able to wear as a dress but this one you most definitely can wear as a dress. I also picked up some bottoms because I just don't really like wearing pants. These are $46 in a size 2. Yay they fit! Oh they don't show my butt cheek! That's amazing! I love that it's adjustable. That way you can make the waist like super tight. I want it to be so I'm suffocating that tight. For those that don't really have curves or have a small waist I definitely suggest getting bottoms that have adjustable tie waist thingies right here. You can basically adjust the fit and it's perfect. I like these shorts so much. Ooh, 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 ooh. So I got these round gold frame glasses. These might just be my new everyday glasses. They actually cover your eyeballs, not the current ones that are half the size and do nothing. I'm not gonna lie, I have a ton of those glasses and I just wear them right here at the edge of my nose, but still, they look cute, but they're non-functional. Okay, so next we have this orange dress. If you have a small chest, you want to have some kind of accent there, so I think cow necks definitely do that for you. Ah, uh, hmm. It's a little bigger than I would hope for. So if you don't really have hips, then cinching it with a waist belt would be perfect. If you do this and cinching your waist with a belt, then it looks a lot better and not as just straight and frumpy. That way you could show off what curves you do have. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I actually really like this with the belt. I also picked up some ruffle socks because I have been dying for some ruffle socks. Look at how cute these lettuce socks are. They're so adorable. I tried to make some. They just were not cute at all. These are $7 for the pair. I don't know why I'm holding up my leg, but yeah. Love these socks. And the last thing that I'm trying on from Princess Polly is this black lace dress. And the reason why I am super excited for this dress is because I actually bought the bodysuit version of this. And it literally is my favorite bodysuit ever. I love it so much. It's so perfect. <sighs> this dress is $53 and I got this in a size 2. I literally love this dress so much. It works so well for someone that doesn't really have curves. I don't have boobs, but it kind of just fits very well for my boobs. Size. It accents your body really, really well. It's such a flattering dress. I can't wait to wear this out. Maybe I'll just wear it to go run errands tomorrow. And I also picked up these little darling earrings and I thought they were super adorable. The earrings come in a little pack like this and what I really, really, really love about this is that they had a pair that had little dangling roses on them. So this is what they look like up close, which you guys still can't even see. These are great for if you guys have multiple piercings. Okay, so that's all I picked out for Princess Polly. Now we're going to move on to the stuff that I got from Yes That. Like I said before, for some reason, American sizing is just a little on the bigger side for me because I I am Asian and yes out is an Asian company their sizing works a little bit better for me I will be starting off with this gingham print skirt right now on their website is going for six dollars and 75 cents it's insane this is why I love buying bottoms from yes styles because they fit so well Woo! See, being someone that doesn't really have curves, you always have to alter everything. They usually make it if you have like a bigger butt or like bigger hips or something, so the waist never fits. But look, it fits! Only like it fits! He does not care. Next, I'm gonna try on these denim shorts. These were actually not on a bottle, so I don't know how these are gonna come out. I'm hoping they fit, but we will see. 
I am so sorry. Oliver found his toy. <laughs> Okay, so the waist right here doesn't super fit, but that is totally a-okay with me because it doesn't have to be super, super tight. I could cinch that with a belt, you know, but these are a perfect cut. Doesn't show too much of the back. For $15, I'm all about it. I also picked up this white, kind of like this top, but in white. Ah, I'm gonna do without the padding. It's good if you have boobs because it gives you support and it brings your girls together, you know what I mean? But if you don't have boobs, then it's all good. You don't need it. I feel like I should already have some joggers for someone that dresses a lot and wears a lot of different types of styles and clothes, but I don't. So I figured I should pick up at least black joggers. Ooh. <laughs> They're comfy. They feel nice. But sit down, Tatiana. Uh, uh, uh. How much are these? Um, no wonder they're thirty dollars. They're a lot more expensive than the last things that I've been trying on. But these are way worth it. They're not like cheap material either. I think they're double line. I love how I just stuck my hand in my pants. If I'm gonna go loose and loose for top and bottom, I would definitely cinch it in at the waist with a belt like this. I kind of feel like a ninja, but it's all good. But yeah, something like this: loose, loose, cinched at the waist. You feel? Oh, but if you guys are curious about this sweater, it is one size only, and this one is $20. All right, it's a little too hot for this right now. Okay, sit. Did I just pull my pants down in front of the camera? Oh my God. <laughs> like I was saying, since we're on the topic of oversized things, I am going to try on a bunch of oversized shirts. But before that, I'm gonna try on these pair of pants that I also picked out. It looked really good on the model on the website, so it definitely made me want to try them on. Ooh. No, they didn't cut the buttonholes! One moment. I bought so many bombs from them already and they always just seem to fit so well. These pants are $23 and again, these are in a size small. This is another oversized shirt that I picked up from YesStyle. It kind of reminded me of a lot of the shirts I see at the thrift store, so I liked it a lot. Sometimes I like to wear as little clothing as possible and then sometimes I just like to dress like a boy. So next I'm gonna try on this blazer and skirt set. So the skirt is actually sold out already, but the blazer is still on the website for $13 right now. This is a cute little set for a brunch or something. It's not super casual, but it's also not super girly. It's more of a boxier, oversized blazer, so if you like that look, then this would be a cute set for you. What was I talking about these glasses earlier in the video? See, half glasses, non-functional, but still a look. I'm getting a lot of clueless vibes from this look. Guess what guys, these glasses are only like $3.50. Oh, I kind of like them on my head better. All right, moving on. I did pick up one bodysuit slash bathing suit. It fits very well. Oh, it's so adorable. I love this so much. It's such a cute bathing suit and it fits so well, like look. The boob part is definitely padding on the inside, but that's fine. It's not like it makes my boobs look any bigger than it really is. Look at the cute little ruffle detail. I feel like this bathing suit can also look cute as a top. Yeah, I don't think it's bad for a top as well. This bathing suit is only $20 and it is in a size small. I think this is definitely worth $20. Next, I want to try this plain black faux leather skirt. You would think that I would have a plain black leather skirt, but I don't. So we're trying on this one perfect exactly what i've been wanting in a plain black faux leather skirt if you don't really have curves then i think yes all is a great place to get some bottoms i love their bottoms so much just because it's super high-waisted i'm just such a fan of high-waisted items high-waisted fitted waist pretty sure i said all those words like 20 times in this whole video i am so sorry you have some good news you just want to share it with the world you know and i have the good news of high-waisted nice fitting bottoms okay yeah this skirt is my new favorite i am gonna wear the crap out of the skirt you guys are gonna be so annoyed i also picked up this really neat top it's a pinstripe lined up top but it's like off the shoulder as well how does one do this Am I doing this right? Lots of buttons and a lot of assembling for this top, but I finally got it. I'm too lazy to button all of it. It's a little interesting. If you're not really into this style, then it's all good. No worries. No one's forcing you to like this style. It's okay. So basically, it's just a really oversized pinstripe button-up, but then they have these cool little buckle straps right here. Oh, no. Oh, bro, that's not a bed. That's my coat. Get off. Ah. 
if you're like insecure about having like a small chest then this definitely hides because it's oversized and then you have a tight fitting bottom which accents your waist and your hip area so that it kind of takes away from your small chest this top is one size fits all and it's $21 on the website right now and lastly I picked up this dragon long sleeve shirt and I am actually surprised the hits on the sleeve are embroidered usually they're just screen printed wow they're leveling up here and this is pretty cool it has a little chain detail right here oh this is a cute outfit too Ooh. The shirt is $18 on the website right now and it is one size. Oh, that was so much stuff, you guys. Thank you to everyone that stayed to the very end. Again, I will link all the items in the description box down below so you guys could check that out. By the looks of it, I think I'm going to be posting a lot of these outfits on my Instagram. So if you don't already follow me, definitely check out my page for like outfit info or just to say hi or just because I don't know but anyways all my socials are at the Nava Rose and yeah I think that's it the next video I have for you guys is a DIY so definitely stay tuned for that next week uh, I think that's it I love you guys all and I'll see you guys in my next video bye